What is the client slash server principle and how does it apply to the Internet? The client slash server principle refers to the two components of a centralized computer network. Client and server machines. Clients request information and servers send them the requested information. For example, when an individual uses his computer to look at a web page. His computer acts as the client, and the computer hosting the web page is the server. Browsers enable the connection between clients and servers. During the 1990s, Netscape, an outgrowth of the early browser mosaic. And Internet Explorer were the dominant browsers. Eventually, Microsoft's Internet Explorer became the dominant browser. Other frequently used browsers are Mozilla Firefox and Safari. What are the characteristics of the protests? Protists are a diverse group of organisms. All protists are eukaryotic. Many are unicellular, but they may be multicellular, multinucleate, or exhibit a colonial organization. Although most are microscopic, some are much larger, reaching lengths of nearly 200 feet, 60 meters. In early, traditional taxonomic schemes, they were united on the basis of being neither plant nor animal nor fungus. Current evidence suggests that protists exhibit characteristics of the plant, animal, and fungi kingdoms. How large is the International Space Station? When the ISS is completed, it will weigh 925,000 pounds, 419,600 kilograms. It will measure 361 feet. 110.03 meters from end to end or the equivalent of a football field including the end zones there will be more than 33,000 cubic feet 935 cubic meters of habitable space the amount of habitable space will be almost equal to the room inside one and a half Boeing 747 jetliners. Which are the only two elements in the periodic table named after women? Curium, atomic number 96, was named after the pioneers of radioactive research Marie. 1867 to 1934, and Pierre Curie, 1859 to 1906. Meitnerium, atomic number 109, was named after Lisa Meitner. 1878 to 1968 one of the founders of nuclear fission. Elements 113 through 118 are unstable and have not been confirmed independently by researchers. The names for elements 113 through 118 are under review. By the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry.
What is Gigo? GIGO is not a computer language despite its similarity to the names of computer languages. Instead it is an acronym for the truism that one gets out of something what one puts into it. GIGO stands for the phrase garbage in, garbage out. The phrase means that a program working with imprecise data produces imprecise results. Which are the world's largest deserts? Deserts are distinguished by two general characteristics. First, desert areas receive less than 10 inches of precipitation per year. Second, due to the extreme dryness, there is little plant or animal life in most deserts. Many deserts form a band north and south of the equator at about 20 degrees. Latitude because moisture-bearing winds do not release their rain over these areas. As the moisture-bearing winds from the higher latitudes approach the equator, their temperatures increase and they rise higher and higher in the atmosphere. When the winds arrive over the equatorial areas and come in contact with the colder parts of Earth's atmosphere, they cool down and release all their water to create the tropical rainforests near the equator. However, other parts of the world, such as Antarctica, are also desert regions. The average annual precipitation in Antarctica is less than 10 inches per year. The Sahara Desert, the world's largest, is three times the size of the Mediterranean Sea. In the United States, the largest desert is the Mojave Desert in southern California with an area of 15,000 square miles, 38,900 square kilometers. Which country is the largest supplier of oil to the United States? Canada is the largest supplier of crude oil to the United States. In 2008, the United States imported 912,263,000 barrels of oil from Canada. The next largest single country supplier of crude oil to the United States was Saudi Arabia with 559. 750,000 barrels of crude oil. What material is used to make a tuning fork? A tuning fork, an instrument that when struck emits a fixed pitch, is generally made of steel. Some tuning forks are made of aluminum, magnesium alloy, fused quartz, or other elastic materials. What is the most enduring mathematical work of all time? The elements of Euclid, c. 300 BCE, has been the most enduring and influential mathematical work of all time. In it, the ancient Greek mathematician presented the work of 
earlier mathematicians and included many of his own innovations. The Elements is divided into 13 books, the first six cover plane geometry. 7 to 9 address arithmetic and number theory, 10 treats irrational numbers, and 11 to 13 discuss solid geometry. In presenting his theorems, Euclid used the synthetic approach, in which one proceeds from the known to the unknown by logical steps. This method became the standard procedure for scientific investigation for many centuries. And the elements probably had a greater influence on scientific thinking than any other work. Is the Dead Sea really dead? Because the Dead Sea, on the boundary between Israel and Jordan, is the lowest body of water on Earth's surface, any water that flows into it has no outflow. It is called dead because its extreme salinity makes impossible any animal or vegetable life except bacteria. Fish introduced into the sea by the Jordan River or by smaller streams die instantly. The only plant life consists primarily of halophytes, plants that grow in salty or alkaline soil. The concentration of salt increases toward the bottom of the lake. The water also has such a high density that bathers float on the surface easily. What was the first U? S. National Park On March 1, 1872, an act of Congress signed by Ulysses S. Grant, 1822-1885, established Yellowstone National Park as the first national park. The action inspired a worldwide national park movement. When was the U.S.? What are subatomic particles? Subatomic particles are particles that are smaller than atoms. Historically, subatomic particles were considered to be electrons, protons, and neutrons. However, the definition of subatomic particles has now been expanded to include elementary particles, which are so small that they do not appear to be made of anything more minute. The physical study of such particles became possible only during the 20th century with the development of increasingly sophisticated apparatus. Many new particles have been discovered in the last half of the 20th century. A number of proposals have been made to organize the particles by their spin, their mass, or their common properties. One system is now commonly known as the standard model. This system recognizes two basic types of fundamental particles, quarks and leptons. Other force-carrying particles are called bosons, photons, gluons, and weakens are bosons. Leptons include electrons, muons, taus, and three kinds of neutrinos. Quarks never occur alone in nature. 
they always combine to form particles called hadrons. According to the standard model, all other subatomic particles consist of some combination of quarks and their antiparticles. A proton consists of three quarks. One hundred and five. How long is a solar cycle? The solar cycle is the periodic change in the number of sunspots. The cycle is taken as the interval between successive minima and is about 11.1 .1 years long. During an entire cycle, solar flares, sunspots, and other magnetic phenomena move from intense activity to relative calm and back again. The solar cycle is one area of study to be carried out by up to 10 atlas. Space missions designed to probe the chemistry and physics of the atmosphere. These studies of the solar cycle will yield a more detailed picture of Earth's atmosphere and its response to changes in the sun. Who discovered the antibiotic streptomycin? The Russian-born microbiologist Selman A. Waxman, 1888-1973, discovered streptomycin in 1943. Streptomycin was the first antibiotic effective against tuberculosis. In 1944 Merck and company agreed to produce it to be used against tuberculosis and tuberculosis meningitis. Streptomycin ultimately proved to have some human toxicity and was supplanted by other antibiotics. But its discovery changed the course of modern medicine. In addition to its use in treating tuberculosis, it was also used to treat bacterial meningitis. Endocarditis, pulmonary and urinary tract infections. Leprosy, typhoid fever, bacillary dysentery, cholera, and bubonic plague. Streptomycin saved countless lives, and its development led scientists to search the microbial world for other antibiotics and medicines. Waxman received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1952 for his discovery of streptomycin. Are spiders really dangerous? Most spiders are harmless organisms that, rather than being dangerous to humans, are actually allies in the continuing battle to control insects. Most venom produced by spiders to kill prey is usually harmless to humans. However, there are two spiders in the United States that can produce severe or even fatal bites. They are the black widow spider, Latrodectus mactans, and the brown recluse spider, Loxocells reclusa. Black widows are shiny black, with a bright red hourglass on the underside of the abdomen. The venom of the black widow is neurotoxic and affects the nervous system. About 4 out of 1,000 black widow bites have been reported as fatal. Brown recluse spiders have a violin-shaped strip on their back.
What natural resources are saved by recycling paper? One ton, 907 kilograms, of recycled waste paper would save an average of 7,000 gallons, 26,460 liters. Of water, 3.3 cubic yards, 2.5 cubic meters, of landfill space, 3 barrels of oil, 17 trees. And 4,000 kilowatt hours of electricity enough energy to power the average home for 6 months. It would also reduce air pollution by 74%. What is fly ash? Fly ash is the very fine portion or ash residue that results from the combustion of coal. The fly ash portion is usually removed electrostatically from the coal combustion gases before they are released to the atmosphere. About 31% of the 57 million metric tons produced annually in the United States are beneficially used. The remainder must be disposed of in ponds or landfills. What was the likely purpose of the human appendix? Experts can only theorize on its use. It may have had the same purpose it does in present-day herbivores. Where it harbors colonies of bacteria that help in the digestion of cellulose in plant material. Another theory suggests that tonsils and the appendix might manufacture the antibody-producing white blood cells called B lymphocytes. However, B lymphocytes could also be produced by the bone marrow. The third theory is that the appendix may attract body infections to localize the infection in one spot that is not critical to body functioning. The earliest surgical removal of the appendix was by Claude Rise Amiand, 1680-1740, in England in 1736. Who invented the compound microscope? The principle of the compound microscope, in which two or more lenses are arranged to form an enlarged image of an object, occurred independently, at about the same time, to more than one person. Certainly many opticians were active in the construction of telescopes at the end of the 16th century. Especially in Holland. So it is likely that the idea of the microscope may have occurred to several of them independently. In all probability the date may be placed within the period 1590-1609. And the credit should go to three spectacle makers in Holland. Hans Janssen, his son Zacharias, 1580-1638, and Hans Lippershey, 1570-1619, have all been cited at various times as deserving chief credit. An Englishman, Robert Hooke, was the first to make the best use of a compound microscope and his book Micrographia, published in 1665, contains some of the most beautiful drawings of microscopic observations ever made.
What are the major features shown by all vertebrates? Animals in the subphylum vertebrata are distinguished from other chordates by several features. Most prominent is the endoskeleton of bone or cartilage. Centering around the vertebral column, spine or backbone. Composed of separate vertebrae, showing internal metamerism. A vertebral column combines flexibility with enough strength to support even a large body. Other vertebrate features include, 1, complex dorsal kidneys, 2, a tail, lost via evolution in some groups. Extending by the anus, 3, a closed circulatory systems with a single, well-developed heart. Four. A brain at the anterior end of the spinal cord, with 10 or more pairs of cranial nerves. 5. A cranium, skull, protecting the brain. 6. Paired sex organs in both males and females. And 7. Two pairs of movable appendages fins in the fishes, which evolved into legs in land vertebrates. How much does a barrel of oil weigh? A barrel of oil weighs about 306 pounds, 139 kilograms. Why is the white birch known as paper birch? The outer layer of the birch tree grows in sheet-like layers. Hence it has been known as paper birch. It is the same tree that Native Americans used to make paper birch canoes. Who invented chromatography? Chromatography was invented by the Russian botanist Mikhail Tsvet, 1872-1919, in the early 1900s. The technique was first used to separate different plant pigments from one another. Chromatography has developed into a widely used method to separate various components of a substance from one another. Three types of chromatography are high-performance liquid chromatography, HPLC, gas chromatography, and paper chromatography. Different chromatography techniques are used in forensic science and analytical laboratories. What organs are included in the integumentary system? The integumentary system, from the Latin INTEGER, meaning to cover, includes skin, hair, glands, and nails. The main function of the integumentary system is to provide the body with a protective barrier between the organs inside the body and the changing environment outside. How does a butterfly differ from a moth?
while these guidelines generally hold true, there are exceptions. Moths have hairy bodies, and most have tiny hooks or bristles linking the forewing to the hindwing. Butterflies do not have either characteristic. How does the body introduce oxygen to the blood and where does this happen? Blood entering the right side of the heart, right auricle or atrium. Contains carbon dioxide, a waste product of the body. The blood travels to the right ventricle, which pushes it through the pulmonary artery to the lungs. In the lungs, the carbon dioxide is removed and oxygen is added to the blood. Then the blood travels through the pulmonary vein carrying the fresh oxygen to the left side of the heart. First to the left auricle, where it goes through a one-way valve into the left ventricle. Which must push the oxygenated blood to all portions of the body. Except the lungs, through a network of arteries and capillaries. The left ventricle must contract with six times the force of the right ventricle. So its muscle wall is twice as thick as the right. What are the main functions of the plasma membrane? The main purpose of the plasma membrane is to provide a barrier that keeps cellular components inside the cell while simultaneously keeping unwanted substances from entering the cell. The membrane allows essential nutrients to be transported into the cell and aids in the removal of waste products from the cell. The specific functions of a membrane depend on the kinds of phospholipids and proteins present in the plasma membrane. What is a syzygy? A syzygy, syzedzy, is a configuration that occurs when three celestial bodies lie in a straight line. Such as the sun, earth, and the moon during a solar or lunar eclipse. The particular syzygy when a planet is on the opposite side of earth from the sun is called an opposition. How much has internet usage changed in recent years? According to industry surveys, internet usage has surged, increasing by nearly 400% between 2000 and 2009. Far exceeding earlier estimates that there would be one billion users by 2005. Africa and the Middle East have shown the greatest rate of growth. What is the probability of a triple play occurring in a single baseball game? The odds against a triple play in a game of baseball are 1,400 to 1. What animals are members of the phylum Nidaria?
corals, jellyfishes, sea anemones, and hydras are members of the phylum Nidaria. The name Nidaria, from the Greek term nide, meaning nettle, and Latin term aria, meaning like or connected with, refers to the stinging structures that are characteristic of some of these animals. These organisms have a digestive cavity with only one opening to the outside. This opening is surrounded by a ring of tentacles used to capture food and defend against predators. Cells in the tentacles and outer body surface contain stinging, harpoon-like structures called nematocysts. Nadarians are the first group in the animal hierarchy to have their cells organized into tissues. Why is the number 10 considered important? One reason is that the metric system is based on the number 10. The metric system emerged in the late 18th century out of a need to bring standardization to measurement, which had up to then been fickle, depending upon the preference of the ruler of the day. But 10 was important well before the metric system. Nicomachus of Gereza C60 C120, a 2nd century Neopythagorean from Judea, considered 10 a perfect number. The figure of divinity present in creation with mankind's fingers and toes. Pythagoreans believed 10 to be the firstborn of the numbers. The mother of them all, the one that never wavers and gives the key to all things. Shepherds of West Africa counted sheep in their flocks by colored shells based on 10. And 10 had evolved as a base of most numbering schemes. Some scholars believe the reason 10 developed as a base number had more to do with ease. 10 is easily counted on fingers and the rules of addition. Subtraction, multiplication, and division for the number 10 are easily memorized. Space program and what caused it? Challenger mission STS-51L was launched on January 28, 1986, but exploded 73 seconds after liftoff. The entire crew of seven was killed, and the Challenger was completely destroyed. The investigation of the Challenger tragedy was performed by the Rogers Commission. Established and named for its chairman, former Secretary of State, William Rogers. The consensus of the Rogers Commission, which studied the accident for several months, and participating investigative agencies was that the accident was caused by a failure in the joint between the two lower segments of the right solid rocket motor. The specific failure was the destruction of the seals that are intended to prevent hot gases from leaking through the joint during the propellant burn of the rocket motor. The evidence assembled by the commission indicated that no other element of the space shuttle system contributed to this failure. Although the commission did not AF explain to any individuals, the public record made clear that the launch should not have been made that day. The weather was unusually cold at Cape Canaveral. And temperatures had dipped below freezing during the night. 
test data had suggested that the seals, called O-rings, around the solid rocket booster joints lost much of their effectiveness in very cold weather. Which country is the largest producer of coal? China is the world's largest producer of coal producing an estimated 3,209,677,000 short tons in 2009. What is a normal fetal heart rate? The fetal heart rate is much faster than an adult's, or even a child's, heart rate. The average adult resting heart rate is 60 to 80 beats per minute. The normal fetal heart rate is 110 to 160 beats per minute. What are the different domains of complementary and alternative medicine? Complementary and alternative medicine practices may be divided into four domains, mind-body medicine. 2. Biologically based practices, 3. Manipulative and body-based practices, and 4. Energy medicine. Mind-body medicine uses a variety of techniques designed to enhance the mind's capacity to affect bodily function and symptoms. Mind-body techniques include meditation, prayer, mental healing, and therapies that use creative outlets such as art, dance, and music. Patient support groups and cognitive behavioral therapy were once considered CAM techniques, but are currently considered mainstream. Biologically based practices use substances found in nature, such as herbs, food, and vitamins, including dietary supplements and herbal products. One example of a natural product to treat a medical disorder is using shark cartilage to treat cancer. Manipulative and body-based practices are based on manipulation and slash or movement of one or more body parts. Manipulation may be part of whole medical systems, such as chiropractic medicine or osteopathic medicine. It often includes massage therapy to increase the flow of blood and oxygen to the targeted areas. The two types of energy fields used in energy therapies are biofield therapies and bioelectromagnetic based therapies. Biofield therapies are intended to affect energy fields that purportedly surround and penetrate the human body. The existence of such fields has not yet been scientifically proven. Some forms of energy therapy manipulate biofields by applying pressure and slash or manipulating the body by placing the hands in, or through, these fields. Bioelectromagnetic based therapies involve the unconventional use of electromagnetic fields, such as pulsed fields, magnetic fields, or alternating current or direct current fields. What is St. Elmo's fire?
St. Elmo's fire has been described as a corona from electric discharge. Produced on high grounded metal objects, chimney tops, and ship masts. Why are leeches important in the field of medicine? Leeches have been used in the practice of medicine since ancient times. During the 1800s leeches were widely used for bloodletting because of the mistaken idea that body disorders and fevers were caused by an excess of blood. Leech collecting and culture were practiced on a commercial scale during this time. William Wadsworth's 1770 to 1850 poem the leech gatherer was based on this use of leeches the medical leech hirudo medicinalis is used to remove blood that has accumulated within tissues as a result of injury or disease leeches have also been applied to fingers or toes that have been surgically reattached to the body the sucking by the leech unclogs small blood vessels, permitting blood to flow normally again through the body part. The leech releases hirudin, secreted by the salivary glands, which is an anticoagulant that prevents blood from clotting and dissolves pre existing clots. Other salivary ingredients dilate blood vessels and act as an anesthetic. A medicinal leech can absorb as much as 5 to 10 times its body weight in blood. Complete digestion of this blood takes a long time. And these leeches feed only once or twice a year in this manner. What is a silicon chip? A silicon chip is an almost pure piece of silicon. Usually less than one centimeter square and about half a millimeter thick. It contains hundreds of thousands of miniaturized electronic circuit components mainly transistors, packed and interconnected in layers beneath the surface. These components can perform control, logic, and memory functions. There is a grid of thin metallic strips on the surface of the chip. These wires are used for electrical connections to other devices. The silicon chip was developed independently by two researchers, Jack Kilby, 1923 to 2005, of Texas Instruments in 1958, and Robert Noyce, 1927 to 1990, of Fairchild Semiconductor in 1959. Jack Kilby was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2000 for his discovery of the silicon chip. While silicon chips are essential to almost all computer operations today, a myriad of other devices depend on them as well, including calculators, microwave ovens, automobiles, and VCRs. How is information sent over the Internet kept secure? Public key cryptography is a means for authenticating information sent over the Internet. The system works by encrypting and decrypting information through the use of a combination of keys. One key is a published public key, 
the second is a private key, which is kept secret. An algorithm is used to decipher each of the keys. The method is for the sender to encrypt the information using the public key. And the recipient to decrypt the information using the secret private key. The strength of the system depends on the size of the key. A 128-bit encryption is about 3x1026 times stronger than 40-bit encryption. No matter how complex the encryption, as with any code. Keeping the secret aspects secret is the important part to safeguarding the information. Users can easily tell whether they are on a secure or non-secure. Internet website by the prefix of the web page address. Addresses that begin with HTTP colon slash slash are not secure while those that begin with HTTPS colon slash slash are secure. Which animals can run faster than a human? The cheetah, the fastest mammal, can accelerate from 0 to 45 miles, 64 kilometers, per hour in 2 seconds. It has been timed at speeds of 70 miles, 112 kilometers, per hour over short distances. In most chases, cheetahs average around 40 miles, 63 kilometers, per hour. Humans can run very short distances at almost 28 miles, 45 kilometers, per hour maximum. Most of the speeds given in the table below are for distances of one quarter mile, 0.4 kilometer. How many fatalities occur each year in the United States due to lightning? During the years 1980 to 2009, an average of 57 people were killed each year by lightning. The 10-year average, 2000 to 2009, decreased to only 41 people per year. An estimated 300 people are injured by lightning strikes in the United States annually. How many flowers need to be tapped for bees to gather enough nectar to produce one pound of honey? Bees must gather 4 pounds, 1.8 grams, of nectar. Which requires the bees to tap about 2 million flowers, in order to produce 1 pound, 454 grams, of honey. The honey is gathered by worker bees, whose lifespan is 3 to 6 weeks. Long enough to collect about a teaspoon of nectar. What is a virus? A virus is an infectious, protein-coated fragment of DNA or RNA. Viruses replicate by invading host cells and taking over the cell's machinery for DNA replication. Viral particles can then break out of the cells, spreading disease. Why is it more difficult to breathe at high altitudes?
it is difficult to breathe at high altitudes because there is less oxygen available in the atmosphere. If the concentration of oxygen in the alveoli drops, the amount of oxygen in the blood drops. At altitudes of 9,843 feet, 3,000 meters, or more, people often feel lightheaded. Especially if they are exercising and placing extra demands on the cardiovascular and respiratory systems. What conditions must be met in order to see a rainbow? There are two main conditions for witnessing a rainbow. The first is that the observer must be between the sun and the water droplets. The water droplets can either be rain, mist from a waterfall, or the spray of a garden hose. The second condition is that the angle between the sun, the water droplets, and the observer's eyes must be between 40 degrees and 42 degrees. Therefore, rainbows are most easily seen when the sun is close to the horizon so the rays striking the droplets are close to horizontal. What is tropism? Troism is the movement of a plant in response to a stimulus. The categories include, chemotropism a response to chemicals by plants in which incurling of leaves may occur gravitropism formerly called geotropism. A response to gravity in which the plant moves in relation to gravity. Shoots of a plant are negatively geotropic, growing upward, while roots are positively geotropic. Growing downward, hydrotropism a response to water or moisture in which roots grow. Toward the water source paraheliotropism a response by the plant leaves to avoid exposure to the Sun phototropism a response to light in which the plant may be positively phototropic. Moving toward the light source, or negatively phototropic, moving away from the light source. Main axes of shoots are usually positively phototropic. Whereas roots are generally insensitive to light thermotropism a response to temperature by plants. Thigmotropism or haptotropism a response to touch by the climbing organs of a plant. How much blood does the average sized adult human have? An adult man has 5.3 to 6.4 quarts, or 1.5 gallons, 5 to 6 liters, of blood. While an adult woman has 4.5 to 5.3 quarts, or 1.2 gallons, 4 to 5 liters. Differences are due to the sex of the individual, body size. Fluid and electrolyte concentrations and amount of body fat. How has centrifugation been used in biological applications?
centrifugation is the separation of immiscible liquids or solids from liquids by applying centrifugal force. Since the centrifugal force can be very great, it speeds the process of separating these liquids instead of relying on gravity. Biologists primarily use centrifugation to isolate and determine the biological properties and functions of subcellular organelles and large molecules. They study the effects of centrifugal forces on cells, developing embryos, and protozoa. These techniques have allowed scientists to determine certain properties about cells. Including surface tension, relative viscosity of the cytoplasm, and the spatial and functional interrelationship of cell organelles when redistributed in intact cells. What is a fiddlehead and how are they used in cooking? The type of fern typically grown as a house plant is of the diploid, or sporophyte, generation. It is composed of a rhizome, an underground stem that occurs horizontally. Which produces roots and leaves called fronds. As each young frond first emerges from the ground, it is tightly coiled and resembles the top of a violin, hence the name fiddlehead. Fiddleheads have a chewy texture and a flavor that is a cross between asparagus, green beans, and okra. They may be cooked by steaming, simmering, or sautéing, and they are typically served as a side dish. The young fern shoots may also be served raw in salads. What scientific article has the most authors? The article First Measurement of the Left-Right Cross-Section Asymmetry in Z-Boson Production by E and E Collisions Published in Physical Review Letters Volume 70, Issue 87, April 26, 1993, pages 2515 to 2520, listed 406 authors on two pages. What is at the center of Earth? Geophysicists have held since the 1940s that Earth's interior core is a partly crystallized sphere of iron and nickel that is gradually cooling and expanding. As it cools, this inner core releases energy to an outer core called the fluid core, which is composed of iron, nickel, and lighter elements, including sulfur and oxygen. Another model called the nuclear earth model holds that there is a small core, perhaps 5 miles, 8 kilometers, wide, of uranium and plutonium surrounded by a nickel-silicon compound. The uranium and plutonium work as a natural nuclear reactor, generating radiating energy in the form of heat, which in turn drives charged particles to create Earth's magnetic field. The traditional model of Earth's core is still dominant. However, scientists have yet to disprove the nuclear Earth model. What is Hopper's rule?
electricity travels one foot, 0.3 meter, in a nanosecond, a billionth of a second. This is one of a number of rules compiled for the convenience of computer programmers. It is also considered to be a fundamental limitation on the possible. Speed of a computer signals in an electrical circuit cannot move any faster. What is the frequency that separates animal hearing from human? The frequency of a sound is the pitch. Frequency is expressed in hertz or hertz. Sounds are classified as infrasounds, below the human range of hearing, sonic range. Within the range of human hearing, an ultrasound, above the range of human hearing. What elements are common to all types of microscopes? Three elements are needed to form an image, a source of illumination, a specimen to be examined, and a system of lenses that focuses the illumination on the specimen and forms the image. Why is the sea blue? There is no single cause for the colors of the sea. What is seen depends in part on when and from where the sea is observed. Eminent authority can be found to support almost any explanation. Some explanations include absorption and scattering of light by pure water. Suspended matter in sea water, the atmosphere, and color and brightness variations of the sky. For example, one theory is that when sunlight hits sea water, part of the white light, composed of different wavelengths of various colors, is absorbed and some of the wavelengths are scattered after colliding with the water molecules. In clear water, red and infrared light are greatly absorbed but blue is least absorbed. So that the blue wavelengths are reflected out of the water. The blue effect requires a minimum depth of 10 feet, 3 meters, of water. How do scientists know that some meteorites that were found in Antarctica came from the moon? Because of the high quality reference collection of lunar rocks collected during space flights to the moon. The original 1979 meteorite find in Antarctica and the ten subsequent findings were verified as lunar in origin. How many different animals are there? Biologists have described and named more than one million species of animals. And some biologists believe that there are several million more species that remain to be discovered, classified, and named. How do hurricanes get their names?
Since 1950, hurricane names have been officially selected from library sources and are decided on during the international meetings of the World Meteorological Organization, WMO. The names are chosen to reflect the cultures and languages found in the Atlantic, Caribbean, and Hawaiian regions. When a tropical storm with rotary action and wind speeds above 39 miles, 63 kilometers per hour develops, the National Hurricane Center near Miami, Florida. Selects a name from one of the six listings for Region 4, Atlantic and Caribbean area. Letters Q, U, X, Y, and Z are not included because of the scarcity of names beginning with those letters. What evidence has led scientists to believe land plants evolved from green algae? Many scientists believe that ancient green algae evolved into land plants. The chloroplasts present in green algae are the same as those of land plants. In addition, green algae have cell walls of similar composition to land plants. Both store food, such as starch, in the same manner. Most green algae live in freshwater habitats with highly variable conditions. The ongoing changes in their environment have made them highly adaptable. How long will fossil fuel reserves last? Determining how long fossil fuel reserves, the non-renewable sources of energy, will last is dependent on production rates and the rate of consumption. Other factors complicating the determination of how long fossil fuel reserves will last is whether additional supplies will be discovered. The economics of recovery of fossil fuels, and the growth of renewable sources of energy. Different models have been proposed, but researchers are now predicting that oil and gas reserves will last another 35 and 37 years, respectively. Coal reserves are predicted to last 107 years. Based on this model, coal will be the only fossil fuel available after 2042 and would last until 2112. How is charcoal made? Commercial production of charcoal uses wood processing residues, such as sawdust, shavings, milled wood, and bark, as a raw material. Depending on the material, the residues are placed in kills or furnaces and heated at low oxygen concentrations. A Harishaw furnace can produce at least a ton of charcoal per hour. Who is generally regarded as the founder of quantum mechanics? The German mathematical physicist Werner Karl Heisenberg. 1901-1976, is regarded as the father of quantum mechanics, the theory of small-scale physical phenomena. 
his theory of uncertainty in 1927 overturned traditional classical mechanics and electromagnetic theory regarding energy and motion when applied to subatomic particles such as electrons and parts of atomic nuclei. The theory states that while it is impossible to specify precisely both the position and the simultaneous momentum, mass 3 velocity, of a particle, they can only be predicted. This means that the result of an action can be expressed only in terms of probability that a certain effect will occur. Heinzenberg was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1932. When was the first practical greenhouse built? French botanist Jules Charles constructed one in 1599 in Leiden, Holland, which housed tropical plants grown for medicinal purposes. The most popular plant there was an Indian date called the tamarind, whose fruit was made into a curative drink. If the sap of the poison ivy plant touches the skin, will a rash develop? Studies show that 85% of the population will develop an allergic reaction if exposed to poison ivy. But this sensitivity varies with each. Individual according to circumstance, age, genetics, and previous exposure. The poison comes mainly from the leaves whose allergens touch the skin. A red rash with itching and burning will develop. And skin blisters will usually develop within six hours to several days after exposure. Washing the affected area thoroughly with mild soap within 5 minutes of exposure can be effective. Sponging with alcohol and applying a soothing and drying lotion, such as colamine lotion, is the prescribed treatment for light cases. If the affected area is large, fever, headache, and generalized body weakness may develop. For severe reactions, a physician should be consulted to prescribe a corticosteroid drug. Clothing that touched the plants should also be washed. What are the four major divisions of chemistry? Chemistry has traditionally been divided into organic, inorganic, analytical, and physical chemistry. Organic chemistry is the study of compounds that contain carbon. More than 90% of all known chemicals are organic. Inorganic chemistry is the study of compounds of all elements except carbon. Analytical chemists determine the seven structure and composition of compounds and mixtures. They also develop and operate instruments and techniques for carrying out the analyses. Physical chemists use the principles of physics to understand chemical phenomena. What is the largest crater on the moon? The largest crater on the moon is Bailey.
its diameter is 184 miles, 296 kilometers. What is the function of various plant nutrients? Macronutrients carbon, major component of organic molecules, oxygen, major component of organic molecules. Hydrogen, major component of organic molecules, nitrogen, component of amino acids, proteins, nucleotides. Nucleic acids, chlorophyll, coenzymes potassium, component of enzymes, protein synthesis. Operation of stomata calcium, component of cell walls, maintenance of membrane structure and permeability, activates some enzymes. Magnesium, component of chlorophyll molecule, activates many enzymes, phosphorus, component of ADP and ADP. Nucleic acids, phospholipids, several coenzymes, sulfur, components of some amino acids and proteins. Coenzyme A, chlorine, osmosis and ionic balance, iron, chlorophyll synthesis, cytochromes, nitrogenase. What is Moore's Law? Gordon Moore, 1929, co-founder of Intel, R, a top microchip manufacturer. Observed in 1965 that the number of transistors per microchip and hence a chip's processing power would double about every year and a half. The press dubbed this Moore's Law. Despite claims that this ever-increasing trend cannot perpetuate, History has shown that microchip advances are, indeed, keeping pace with Moore's prediction. What is Colton? Colton is the shortened name for the metallic or columbite tantalite. When refined it becomes a heat-resistant powder, tantalum, which can hold a high electrical charge. These properties make it a vital element in creating capacitors. The electronic elements that control current flow inside miniature circuit boards. Tantalum capacitors are used in almost all cell phones. Laptop computers, pagers, and other electrical devices. What were floppy disks? The first floppy disk drive was invented by Alan Shugart. 1930 to 2006 in 1967 at IBM Floppy disks also called diskettes were made of plastic film covered with a magnetic coating which were enclosed in a non-removable plastic protective envelope Floppy disks varied in storage capacity from 100,000 bytes to more than 2 megabytes the three common floppy disk, diskette, sizes varied widely in storage capacity. An 8-inch or 5.25-inch diskette was enclosed in a plastic protective envelope, which did not protect the disk from bending or folding, parts of the disk surface were also exposed. 
and could be contaminated by fingerprints or dust. These diskettes became known as floppy. Discs Because the packaging of the 5.25 inch disc was a very flexible plastic envelope. The casing on a 3.5 inch floppy disc was rigid plastic, and included a sliding disc guard that protected the disc surface. But allowed it to be exposed when the disc was inserted in the disc drive. This protection, along with the increased data storage capacity, made the 3.5 inch disc the most popular. Zip, R, discs were very similar to floppy disks but the magnetic coating was of much higher quality. They were able to store up to 750 megabytes of data. By the mid 1990s, floppy disks and Zip, R, disks had become obsolete as computer files and memory required larger storage and computers were no longer being manufactured with floppy disk drives. These disks can still be accessed by using an external 4 floppy drive reader with a USB connection. How much fuel can be saved when a home is properly insulated? Insulation of a single-family house with EPS or XPS, extruded polystyrene. Over a 50-year period has the potential to save 80 metric tons of heating oil. This in turn corresponds to the fuel consumption of a fully loaded jumbo jet during a flight from Frankfurt, Germany, to New York. Are any bacteria visible to the naked eye? Apulopiscium fischelsoni, which lives in the gut of the brown surgeon fish. Acanthurus nigrofuscus, is visible to naked eye. It was first identified in 1985 and mistakenly classified as a protozoan. Later studies analyzed the organism's genetic material and proved it to be a bacterium of unprecedented size. Inches, 0.38 millimeters, in diameter, or about the size of a period in a small print book.